I am Dr. Akshay Mehta, from a cardiologist from Mumbai, India, and uh, I would like to talk to you about the correct measurement of blood pressure, how and why. Now, as you know, blood pressure or hypertension or high blood pressure is a silent worker. Over years, if it is months and years, if it is not under control, it can give rise to complications such as brain stroke, heart attacks, heart failure, vision disturbance, kidney failure, etc. And hence, it is very important to measure it because that is the only way we will know whether we have blood pressure or not, or high blood pressure or not. So let's work together to control this menace. And the two ways are to first of all, to check blood pressure after the age of 18 years, every five years or even less, that means even more frequently if required. And the second step is to keep it under control with lifestyle changes and with medications. So how do we get our blood pressure checked up? Well, there are two main methods, doctor's clinic or hospital or at home. Of course, there are other methods like kiosks, chemist shops, railway stations, airports, even barber shops have been known to check blood pressure, malls, etc. But the most uh, accurate ones would be a doctor's clinic or a person's home. Now, when do you go for a blood pressure checkup to a doctor or to any clinic? There are certain precautions that you have to take. First of all, if it is available, take all previous reports, prescriptions, or actual strips or bottles of the tablets that you have been taking. If you have been checking blood pressure at home, bring the record of BP readings of last few weeks or months. It is also a good idea to bring the home instrument to the doctor's clinic so that he can cross-check the readings with his own instrument. Ask the doctor what should be your goal blood pressure and what else can be done to achieve the goal. And ask him or her if a 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure measurement is necessary or not. And of course, inform the doctor of all previous medications if they have produced any side effects so that alternative medications can be prescribed. So please be ready with all these data information when you go to the doctor. And when you go there, see that you have not had coffee, cigarettes, alcohol, or done exercise 30 minutes for the, before the BP checkup. And when you go for the BP checkup, relax for about five minutes, maybe in the waiting room. Empty your bladder first. Your bladder should not be full because if it is full and you have not passed urine, blood pressure can be more than your normal. Always wear clothing which has, which has half short sleeves or loose clothing so that the BP cuff can be placed properly over the arm, directly over the arm. Don't cross your legs and support your back and put your feet flat on the ground. While the blood pressure is being taken, please don't talk. Support the arm at the heart level on a table or a desk. So these are the precautions you have to take when you go to a doctor's clinic to check your blood pressure. And of course, the doctor will check the blood pressure more than once if it is found to be abnormal on the first reading. If you are already on blood pressure medications, many people ask this question, that should you stop them before coming for a BP checkup? No, please do not stop your tablets or medications before you come for a BP checkup, because only then will the doctor know their effect and whether any change is required on the top of what you've been already taking. Now, is the blood pressure measured in a doctor's clinic always your true blood pressure? Well, in 20 to 30% of people, it is not so. Even if the blood pressure is taken correctly, there is no fault of the doctor or the nurse, the, the machine is also okay. The only problem is the environment. The environment which is called white coat effect or white coat hypertension. What does it do? It raises your blood pressure transiently uh, in a clinic because of the stress of, of the environment. And in some people, this is uh, called white coat hypertension. 
because in some people this happens this happens about 20 percent of people and in these people the clinic blood pressure is higher than the home blood pressure this is called white coat hypertension conversely about 10 to 15 percent of people have the opposite their clinic blood pressure is lower than the home blood pressure and this is what is known as masked hypertension and these patients are really hypertensives and they do require treatment because their home blood pressure is higher in the case of white coat hypertension they do not require treatment because their home blood pressure is normal so bp measurement at home is very important and can help determine if you have true high blood pressure or you have white coat or masked hypertension so the advantage of advantages of taking blood pressure at home are first of all to confirm diagnosis because you are in a familiar environment repeated readings can be taken and a final decision can be taken it is very important in people in whom recently high, high readings have been found in the clinic especially in risk high risk people like diabetics or kidney disease patients home pressure also can help track and tailor your treatment it can you can modify the treatment with your doctor can modify the treatment depending on your home blood pressures also it encourages better control because you have a stronger sense of responsibility and motivation so because you have a better sense of uh, being in control the chances of blood pressure coming under control are much better and in these days like the covid days it can be managed remotely with uh, telehealth so that is an added advantage you don't have to go to the doctor travel miles to the doctor's clinic wait in the clinic uh, with inspire instead of that uh, the judgment can be made over phone and over the multiple readings that you tell to the doctor now who should keep a blood pressure monitor at home anyone diagnosed with high blood pressure should have a monitor at home individuals who start the treatment so that uh, we want to know how the treatment is effective people requiring closer monitoring over a long term like individuals with brain disease or kidney disease pregnant women experiencing pregnancy induced hypertension or preeclampsia if you have symptoms which are related to low or high blood pressure then what happens is that when you have symptoms in the house you can check the blood pressure and correlate whether the symptoms are related to high or low blood pressure and of course as we said earlier to evaluate false readings like people with white coat hypertension and masked hypertension now what are the steps in using home blood pressure instrument the first step is what kind of monitor should i use well it should be an automatic upper arm monitor not a wrist or finger arm finger monitors the cuff size should be proper and choose there are instruments which give only one reading which are cheaper and there are instruments which give it three readings and they average the three readings automatically and those are better but little costlier the very important thing to note is that the bp instrument that you buy should be clinically validated and how do you know they are validated where well, you can go to the google uh, validated instruments and you can go to this british hypertension society uh, website or you can go to the european society of hypertension you can go to dabble educational etc there is one more site called the stride bp which gives you validated blood pressure monitors for home use office use etc so you can google this and get validated instruments a long list of them and you can buy them for example this is from omron this is from microlife etc these are examples of good bp instruments the second step is to bring the monitor to doc doctor's clinic and in the doctor's clinic learn how to take blood pressure yourself and on the arm showing the higher blood pressure because many times there is a difference of 10 to 15 mm between the two arms and it is always important to take the blood pressure in the arm showing the higher pressure always cross check your readings with the doctor's instruments and know when to take blood pressure at home and when to report to the doctor so again at home just like in the clinic before you start empty your bladder relax for 5 minutes avoid coffee alcohol tobacco and exercise for 30 minutes before uh, you take the blood pressure sit up straight with both feet on the floor no talking during the 
during the test. Back should be supported, relax for five minutes, arm to be rested on the table, and the BP cuff should be tied such that it is about one inch above the elbow, and it is tied. It is tied not too tight, not too loose, just smugly so that you can insert one finger between the arm and the BP cuff. So this is how you attach it. The tubing should lie in the front of the arm. And then after resting for about a few minutes, you can check your blood pressure. Always take twice with a minute in between and average the two readings. Okay. And this is a, a, another picture which shows that you have to be comfortable, no distractions, arm should be supported, seated with back support, feet flat on the floor. It should not be like this, that one, the feet are cross leg person is busy on the mobile, back is not supported. So this is not the way to do it. Now, when to measure the blood pressure at home? Usually it is once in the morning after passing urine, but before food, tea, coffee, exercise, or blood pressure medicines. So before you take your medicines in the morning, check your blood pressure. And once in the evening before your dinner. Each time twice at one minute interval. In addition to these two timings, whenever there are symptoms like headache, dizziness, or blackouts, you can check blood pressure. Do not usually check for about two hours after a meal, especially in elderly people, because the blood pressure can be a little lower after a meal. And how many days you should check? Well, if we want to diagnose hypertension, then better to take four to seven days continuously every day, your blood pressure. But if you're on medications, then once a week or twice a week BP readings beginning two weeks after a change in treatment regimen and during the week before the visit to a doctor. Now, there is another way of measuring blood pressure outside the clinic, which is called ambulatory blood pressure measure. It is a device which is attached to your arm and hooked to your belt. And it gives you, a, uh, it measures blood pressure automatically every half an hour or every one hour during the night. And you get multiple readings over 24 hours. So a complete profile of your blood pressure throughout 24 hours is well, is well seen. And it, within one day, one can come to know what your real blood pressure is. This is highly accurate and most reliable way to find out whether you have hypertension or not and how your blood pressure behaves during the day. And the advantages are, it quickly confirms within a day whether you have blood pressure or not, whether you have white coat hypertension, whether you have mast hypertension. A very important feature is that your blood pressure during sleep is known. And it is known that the sleep blood pressure is extreme predict very much predictive of future problems if your sleep blood pressure is low below the daytime blood pressure which is normal then it is a good sign also it gives you an idea about the morning surge when you get up in the morning how your blood pressure is behaving that we come to know and the variability of blood pressure throughout the day is also well known and of course from the variability of blood pressure through the day we can make a judgment as to how to give you drugs, at what time to give you drugs, and what drugs to give. So tailoring therapy is also facilitated by uh, taking this ambulatory blood pressure measurement. So this is the second way of measuring blood pressure outside the clinic. So summarizing, know the correct steps to measure blood pressure in a doctor's clinic or by yourself at home. And thereby know your current correct blood pressure know your target blood pressure, what it should be, and work jointly with your doctor to bring it to the ideal level or maintain it at that level. How to do that? We shall talk, to, talk about that in the next uh, uh, video chat that we do over after some days. Uh, meanwhile, thank you very much for listening to this uh, talk. And I would welcome all your questions and comments on the uh, site and uh, with your likes and your uh, subscriptions. Thank you very much. And uh, I will try to answer all your questions. Thank you.